In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply fractions together. To set up multiplying fractions, I want to think about multiplication as a rectangle. For example, 3 times 2 can be represented as a rectangle that is 3 by 2 in size. Well, I didn't draw this very to scale, but 3 across and 2 up and down, and you see that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 full boxes. We can think about any multiplication problem in this way, is the number of squares we end up with in a rectangle that's made up of the sides. So if I wanted to do 2 thirds times 4 fifths, I could think about that as a rectangle. Where the height is 2 thirds of a whole, so let's divide this into 3 parts. We're dividing the whole into 3 parts. We want to shade 2 of them to represent 2 thirds of the rectangle. And then the other dimension, 4 fifths, represents 4 fifths of the whole going the other way. So I'll divide that into 5 parts, and I'm going to shade 4 of them. And what you'll notice that does is we end up with this double shaded area that's going to be our product. How much of that is shaded? Well, you'll notice there's 8 boxes, you could just count them, but another thing you might notice is the numerators, 2 and 4, describe the rectangle that's outlined, a 2 by 4 rectangle. By simply multiplying those numerators, 2 times 4, we get 8, or the number of boxes that are double shaded. Multiplying the numerator tells us the parts we end up with. Similarly, the denominator is going to be the entire box, which is a 3 by 5 box, which we can see we get by multiplying the denominators or by counting, but multiplying the denominators 3 by 5 across would be quicker to tell us there are 15 boxes in the entire thing, and we know now that 8 fifteenths of the entire rectangle is shaded. This suggests the pattern for multiplying fractions. We multiply fractions by multiplying across the numerators, to get our new numerator and denominators, to get our new denominator. Let's try some examples where we multiply across without having to draw the rectangle itself. In this problem, we're multiplying 4 sevenths times 9 fifths. We just discovered that to multiply them, we simply have to multiply across the numerators to find the double shade. 4 times 9 is 36. Over, we can multiply across the denominators. 7 times 5 is 35, and we get our final solution, 36 over 35, simply by multiplying across the numerators and denominators. Let's try one more example. Here we have 2 elevenths times 5 sevenths. Multiplying the numerators, 2 times 5 is 10 over, multiply the denominators, 11 times 7 is 77, and we have our final solution. Multiplication of fractions is the most basic of all operations, where we simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators.